David Brown. I have been playing with the orchestra for eight years um, and I play in the woodwind section. Um, I play the bassoon, uh, this wonderful instrument here, uh, which is the bass partner of the woodwind. So a lot of the time we play a similar role to the cello for the strings or somewhere between the cello and the double bass kind of. Um, it's made of wood, as you might expect, um, mostly maple, um, with a lot of keywork on it. Um, in fact, if I turn this around, so my left thumb has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keys to play, um, depending on which part of the instrument I am playing. It comes in four pieces, um, so I can take it apart. Um, so you have the bell joint, the bass joint, the crook, so called because it looks like a shepherd's crook, the tenor joint, which is this one, and the boot of the bassoon, um, or the U-bend because it's got a U-bend in it. Uh, and there's one other component which is very important which is the reed, which is what you use to make the sound come out. And that goes on the end of the crook. With the reed, you have to curl your lips back right over your teeth, like this, and you have to read in between. Um, and if you've ever played the recorder, it's a bit sort of a bit like playing the recorder. So you have to use your tongue to tap the end of the reed to get the sound um, and just blow through the reed. So that you can hear the, the sound stopping as I tap my tongue on the end of it. And you can change the pitch of um, the sound you get by smiling or frowning. Bassoon is not a very common instrument um, amongst woodwind. I'm often surprised by how many bassoonists there are, but I think that's because we all know, it's sort of in the area, we mostly know who each other are because, so it feels like there's a lot of us, but we all know everyone. <laughs> um, so usually um, you're in demand um, for playing the bassoon because it's not very common. Um, you also get to sit in the back of the orchestra and sort of be the joker in the woodwind section. Um, make funny noises um, with your reed. Um, just sort of, I don't know, it's, it's nice to play an instrument that not many people do. Marla One, um, which we performed in All Saints in Leamington. And I love that piece anyway. Um, I have it on CD and I listen to it every now and then. Um, but it was a combination of, I felt like we were really well rehearsed for that one. We played it really well. The atmosphere in All Saints generally is quite suited to that kind of music because it's a big open space. The acoustic works with Marla. Um, but also towards the end of the concert, um, in the last movement, a thunderstorm rolled in. <laughs> And the rain started hammering down. And then just as we finished the last chord, there was a lightning strike um, that you could just flash through the window. And just the whole atmosphere of the, the end of the concert was magical. Um, so on top of being a piece that I really like anyway, that just made it, made it really special.